forgot. Okay, well, <laughs> welcome back. We're looking at the Megalodon again. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go talk to my grandma. Grandma? I'm gonna fuck you up today. This is the last time you ever you come come at me. This is the fucking last time you ever come at All right, me we're like gonna this do again, a, grandma. We're gonna do a quickie. Ugh. Well, we gotta keep the number of episodes consistent throughout all of the games that we've played today, okay? 18 more. Oh, do I have a fucking fairy? I do, don't I? Oh, yeah, I think Yes, I do. Shh. Look at you. Thinking ahead without even doing it. I know, I wasn't thinking about that at all. Here, Grandma. I know you're having a real tough time. Give up. I don't know if you have to do this. I don't think so. No, but, but I, it's nice. You I know, you gotta it. check on your Gram Gram. I she did probably it. gives you, like, a soup. She does give me a soup. Oh, how did I know? Oh, what the fuck are you doing here? Intruder. Guide why? Intruder! Guide why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, why? <laughs> why did you have to show back up? <laughs> I was going to eat this entire pot of soup for myself. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm why so don't you sorry. Have... God, why? <laughs> why don't you have God, this, why? this, this is... nice thing of soup turns slightly? Drip, 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 drip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, take the, uh, the soup. <laughs> And then he's just I've like, been trying oh. to poison this motherfucker for years. <laughs> no, but he's just like, Grandma, I don't, you know I don't really like that soup very much. Can you make me something else? Fine, yes, dear. <laughs> and then he just whips it at him. <laughs> <laughs> Throws the whole pot onto him. He's just... <laughs> ah. Do you want a fucking sandwich, huh? Do you want a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of I this. got some lead to go with it. <laughs> hey, Grandma, you invented guns. It's a magic gun. Yeah, yeah fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> then the old guy. Say what again? <laughs> the old guy that always has his shirt off just comes and starts pushing you. Yeah. Orca. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I know what we gotta freaking do, you douche. Then he cuts you up. To go this way. Yeah. Go around the back. Round the back side. Round the back side. Round the back side. Yep. Alright. <laughs> happy, to, happy to instruct. There's this big old whirlpool back here. This is where we gotta go. The pool of the world. It does take a lot of uh, bombs to break this bitty. Uh, yeah, breaking the booba. So I'm gonna wait till I can get a little bit closer. Yeah, and just fucking lay into it. Machine gun! Machine I gun! I can't fire that quickly. It takes a while to break, break her down. Break her down. There we go. That one didn't count! Fuck! I've reused all the bombs! Oh, okay. Oh, that one worked. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting that to take a little bit longer. No, just, well, just shoot it. You got this. You, come on. Um, 360 no scope. I'm two. letting it get closer because I don't know if I can make that shit work, man. You gotta have trust in there yourself, you belief. You as as Bullish. as Naruto always Believe told it. me. Believe it. <laughs> you gotta believe it. Believe it. <laughs> Mr. Fucking Naruto always Naruto. told me you gotta run with your hands back you gotta believe it Man. and you gotta use your jujitsu to turn of... yourself into a girl so you can perv on them uh, is that what happened in the show? Uh, yeah it's like the first episode that's the only episode I've ever seen of the show um, so that's all I can really tell you about Naruto is that he tried to turn into a female so he could go into the sauna to look at females. And then they're like... There's always an episode like that and shit. Yeah, it's there. the first one too, I think. Oh my god, right there in the ear. Oh, 
I like how his little thingy that he has on his head is like a fish hook. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. I'd like to hook you into that fish. Sweet, I got the boob. Oh, look, it's purple. I told you it was purple. It's not fucking purple. <laughs> you got purple. Goodbye. Orange. And vaguely green. <laughs> hey, what up? Vaguely green. <laughs> it's that foul rain and the night warranty and limits of the cars brought upon God. So you know, that would be a great that's feature. That's not what I'm fucking saying to you. You know, that would be a great feature, come to think of it, in another Zelda game. It's like, okay, let's do all the cool waves and shit, but you know what would also be great? Voice acting. Think about it. Yeah, something other than... Yeah! Just, you can keep Link as the silent protagonist. Yeah, the, Just Link... Just give everyone else... Link as the silent protagonist works. I got no problem with that. But, like, it's... You could give Zelda, like, other than... But like, you could be, hey, fucking, like you fucking yeah. Link, you wanna, get us some uh, voice acting. Like you guys yeah. clearly like have people come in to do the yells and screams and shit. Just get them to fucking speak. So that way you don't have to read text every time you want to do exposition dumps. Fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, is there other shit up here? Oh yes, I can actually go. I'm gonna have to change this fucking wind immediately again, but oh well. Are you serious? Don't fucking let me do this. Okay. <laughs> I there is a fairy fountain up in the top, and I can do it. There is also a means of getting a Triforce chart or some shit here, but I don't know if I have enough magic to glide to where I have to go, so I'm not gonna do that yet. But tell you, you gotta believe. Believe it! Believe it! Believe it! You know. Believe it! You know what believe I said it. about Naruto. You know how embarrassing it would be to be like 30 years old and still like Naruto? No, I don't personally, but I do know some. <laughs> I don't know. People like what they like, and that's fine. Yeah, someone, but I just... someone could be like, isn't it just embarrassing to be like, 29 years old and still like dinosaurs. Hey, man. Yeah, but like, dinosaurs are infinitely cooler yeah. than fucking cartoon ninjas, though. Yeah. Dinosaurs were real. Dinosaurs were real, yeah. Fucking cartoon ninjas. Not so real. Not so but I mean, real. how many people like would fucking dress up as a, as a fucking dinosaur with a ninja headband on? You know? I don't know, man. Can't account for people's tastes. It's fine. If you're into that shit, you're into that shit. But I just, I don't know. When I see people that still do that type of thing, I'm like... Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, you know... Yeah, I'll let live, live and let live. I let people, you know... Oh, yeah, of course. Eat and drink their obsessions and all that. But, like... I'm gonna call you weird. Yeah. Whatever. That's like the Trevor Moore song. Bullies. Yeah, you told me about that, I think. Good fucking song. Sometimes sometimes you need to be bullied, man. <laughs> More people need to be bullied. Yeah. Just like, differently. Like how they used to do it back in the day. They call them expletives. Yeah, and then like... <laughs> And ostracized them from the group to a degree, but yeah, not dunk like dunk their head in a toilet. Yeah, yeah but didn't like murder them or <laughs> constantly berate them online until the person shot up the school or killed anyone. Oh, we don't need that. No, just we, we don't. No, little... we don't. No, just fucking physical abuse. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit of physical abuse. Maybe you steal their lunch money or something. Steal their debit card for the afternoon, and then just like you know, give it back to them later. Oh, I can get a thousand rupees now. Look at that shit. Mm. I can't buy anything really good with a thousand rupees, but, you know. Well, you can put it away in a bank account. Actually, I can get some, some decent shit with a thousand rupees. Oh, wait, that's the better game. Jaro's Mask. Can you do that in that game? Yeah, there's a whole quest about putting your money away into a bank account. And it accrues interest I never, over the three days 
and it's the only way to get all the money you need to uh, uh, complete a quest. I never got that far into the game, to be honest. It's a good game. Not it's that rough. I dis- not that I dislike it, but I th- yeah, there's definitely like a um bit of a steep entry into it. You gotta get through some stuff at the beginning in order to make it work. Yeah, make it twerk, baby. I've got one letter for God. Why? Yes. Yes, that's the special beetle place. Oh, thank you for the one dollar. Oh, thanks. God, got me all rich now. Two oh two. There's a special beetle um, shop on Rockspire Island that has unique items that can only be purchased there. That's the kind of shit I like in certain games too. Like I, like that's why I hate games that have like loot drops. Yeah. Because no item is unique, really. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's they just are. A, it's a chance. Yeah, I guess they are, but like. You'll get like duplicates of the same weapon or armor yeah. or something like that, but then the numbers are different, or the color is different. Yeah, I want actual like completely different. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's like if you want to go to, it's like oh sweet, I got this dragon off. That's like this other dragon off, but at a higher quality. Yeah, the number exactly the same. The number is bigger, and its name is purple, not blue. Yeah. And then maybe the uh, that's only relegated to the uh, fucking orange legendary ones. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, this yeah. is the this is the cunt puncher. It's got a, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got a boxing glove on the yeah, top of it. Yeah, but then half the time they're not as good as the randomly generated shit. So it's yeah. like, great, thanks, thanks for this thing that's got less attack power or something. It's like, well, we just didn't want everyone to just be walking around with cunt puncher. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, Cunt Puncher should be, like, the end game weapon that you get. Yeah. Like, that should be the the unique one that you have to go and do the side quest for to get it. Yeah, but then, then everyone would have it if it's the best gun in the game. Like, should it, So what? Shouldn't no. we ha- encourage people to, like, no. not have the best gun no. in the game? No. In metagame? Nope. No. No, we shouldn't. Everybody should be getting Cunt Puncher and just fucking... Cotton punching everyone. <laughs> That's what it's for. Yeah, it's literally in the name. Like that, if you bought the the game in physical format, that would be a bullet point on the back of the box. Cunt puncher two thousand. Cunt puncher two. <laughs> that's the that's the ultra rare. Oh, Jesus or the ultra Christ. legendary. Why do you do this to me? Where you uh, you level it up and all that. Why? There's five. I don't want to fucking waste my time getting them, but I should. But Taylor, there's five. I know. That's what I'm saying. One of them could be the Triforce, Taylor. It's not. But Taylor, it could be. I'm pretty sure it's not. You know what I love? That you have to watch this fucking... This is what I mean. Well, this is why I'm like, why do I need to do... Why? Why are you making me do this right now? This is the worst part. Because it's going to make me... It's going to take me five minutes just to fucking get these stupid fucking rupees here. Because it takes fucking forever... To do the animation, and then for some reason they feel it necessary that once you get close to the glowy that it disappears. Like, just fucking leave it there. (laughs) Or give me, like, a means of seeing it somehow. Like, I don't get it. I I don't know, I get it, but at the same time it's fucking annoying. It's like there's there's a series of five, and now I gotta, like, be very, like, precise to get directly on top of each individual one. That's how long it took... From you to hit the button for that thing to go down, from you to be able to hit the button to 21 leave. seconds? 21 seconds. Christ. So you're going to be here... For at least another, like, minute? <laughs> yeah. We'll fucking take you 105 seconds to do all five of these. Which is a minute and a half. Yeah. That could have been streamlined. Fucking streamlined. Why can't, Like, see, this is where they need to give you, like, a net. Like you could just fucking cast a net out into yeah, the fucking sh- into the into the water. Or give me a fucking upgraded. Give me like a submarine. And the thing is, now that you have to fucking miss, now it's gonna take longer. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna be here for three minutes. That's what I fucking said. This is bullshit. That one was deeper than the other ones, so I had to wait longer. 
And then you have to wait longer for Jeez. it to come back up. Ugh. It's terrible. Like, when you pull it up, it should just do this. Like, none of the... You know, just like yeah. fucking... Just do that. You see, that's one thing I've always thought with these games is... They should do, like, how Star Fox did it. And, uh, Adventure. Where when you pick up an item that you have never grabbed, it will do this animation and yeah, all that. Yeah, once. Once. And then, every subsequent time you pick up that item, you never see it again. Yeah. Like, this is a fucking rupee you've picked up multiple times. Yep. Yep. It's, it'll be fine if it's like, oh, this one's the hundred one. You've never seen that one yet. And then, the next time you get a hundred one... It just puts it in your fucking bank account. Yeah. Instead of, oh my god, remember when you got the hundred one the last time? Here it is again. Well, it's like fucking Aaron, what Aaron said in the sequel Titties. He's like, you know, in Link to the Past, you see the the ah. the treasure chest and you walk up to it and it's instantaneous. When yeah, you it's open it. and then yeah, maybe it's it'll give you a little thing. Yeah, it's immediate that you get the thing. But then, like, all of a sudden in the 3D ones, they got to add this, like, fucking music cue and the spinning camera and the glowy chest and shit. And it's like, just fucking, like, give me the thing. Like, just give it to me. Like, why is there all this pomp and circumstance surrounding opening a fucking chest in a game? <laughs> it adds nothing to the experience. Like, just let me get it. <laughs> All this other bullshit. This ain't gonna happen. Alright, I'm out of here. I would have liked to have gotten that, but oh well. Did I ever get what was on Southern Fairy Island? I don't know. I think I did, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. That was the bomb bag. That was the bomb bag. At least I'm pretty sure it was. Yep. All right, here's where we gotta go. I got quite a few of the squares done already, huh? That's more than I thought I would have. Yeah. You almost made like a Minecraft helmet. Yeah, right. There's still quite a few left, obviously, but you know. Yeah, I think that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a good song. I think you have like 29 squares left. From what I remember seeing. Whatever. Roughly around there. Tell me in the comments if I got it right. If not, call me a bitch. Nobody's going to say anything. <laughs> Maybe Alex watches. She can call me a bitch. Alex, it's fine. count up the squares that I have left to do. There it is. And then fucking tell Billy if he's right or wrong. Yeah, just pause the video. Just pause the video there and boys know. Use it as a counting exercise for Rosie or somebody. <laughs> All right, Rosie. She's how fucking many? old enough to count. Yeah, right? she's, like, yeah like, she's far older than the. <laughs> All right, Rosie. How many are there? Twenty-two. All right, call your uncle a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Billy, you're a bitch, and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can't. I can't argue with it when yeah. when you write, you write. Yeah. I'm sorry. Where my belly really is? This is the type of shit, though, right here, where it's like, I don't know, like. I understand its importance and the point of the game to, like, do this whole thing, but, like, it feels so arbitrary. Like, you have to sail to these three islands just to put a... Th like, to walk up to a statue and do a thing. Yeah, and then, like, it, uh, you just walk away from the thing yeah. and go to the next one. and then one. you go to the next one. Like, I get it. Like, they gotta have those moments in the game where, like, you have to... <clears throat> or it gives you an opportunity or a chance to, like explore and do what you want to do but like I don't know man why can't we go back to simpler times where people just like just like murdered each other 
I don't know, Billy. I, I feel like that happens a lot right now. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I mean, in video games. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just not. Like... I think I think I just like to complain about shit in video games. This is really what it is. Because this game that I'm playing doesn't have certain things that another game that I really, really like has. So therefore I complain. Yeah, it makes sense. Ooh, I should go do this. Here's something fun. Check this out. There's a little, little boat over here. Yeah, I'm gonna raid the fuck out of him. I am gonna raid the fuck out of him. Check this shit out. Look at this dude has no idea. I just crept up on this bitch. He has no idea I'm here. Well, now he's <laughs> yeah, no, apparently still, he still didn't. Still didn't. Real good. And now he's he's drowning. <laughs> <laughs> he just <sighs> fucking drowned. I sliced him. And he's like, ah! he's like he has no idea what's happening. I don't know if it was more drowning or just like he got a sword slashed down his back, and then he fell into the water. Yeah, but he didn't come back up. He drowned. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. This might be one of those ones where I might not be able to finish it because I need the bow or something. Get up, you fucking bitch. That's why you just you beat the game and then you come back with all the stuff and then do everything else. No, well, some of these you have to do to get, like, Triforce charts and shit. That's the worst part of the game right there, is the Triforce charts. Yes, 100%. Ah, never would have expected... Someone throw a barrel at me. The combat, at least in this game, is actually pretty good. It's really basic, but it's it's. Fun. But it feels good. Yeah, it feels it's fun to do. The opposite of uh, uh, fucking Star Fox. Yeah. Where it's basic and it doesn't feel good. It well, because you don't because the wasty. game well because the game doesn't afford you any options. Yes. In Star Fox, like this one has dodging and there's picking up dodging. Objects and, like, well, you can dodge in Star Fox, but it like barely I mean, means like, anything. Like repast dodging. Yeah. There's that. You can guard. You can and like you can use different weapons. Like you can use bombs. You can use arrows. You can use the boomerang. You can use the grappling. Like you can use a lot of different shit, and it's like yeah. that's what's cool. You can move around and it feels better yeah. than like in Fox, where you're just kind of like you just hit the button until it's over. Yeah, <laughs> and then Pretty you much. hold the button until they attack you, so that you can hit the button until it's over. Yep. Pretty much. Hey, that was worth it. What'd you get? Oh, I got a piece of heart. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Some of some of them you do need to do, I believe, but. I will say one thing. Um, oh, oh my. Jesus Christ! <laughs> um, there was a. There is kind of a charm in in like when you do have to find the triforce shards that like there's a couple of like puzzles to solve in that respect. Yeah, that's fun. <clears throat> like you have to figure out like where to go. Like it's kind of upon the player to kind of determine like where you have to go. Which I kind of I I kind of like, but you know it's. Because there's a part where you got to get on the ghost ship, but then you have to go get like a certain item before you can even get on the ghost ship, and then you have to figure out where the ghost ship is. Yeah. And then it's like, you know. That's fun. That's interesting. Yeah. Just having to do all the legwork and all that, it's not as fun. Yeah. Because the traveling is not that great in this game. No, like. It's fun the first time because yeah. you're like, oh wow, big ocean, blah blah blah. But overall, the ocean's empty. Oh yeah. And there's not like they do. A you get the red seal and you can go faster. And that's about it. I don't think that's in this game. No. I think that's in the Wii U version. You have to look it up. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that that's only in the Wii U version. I don't think that there was a, another sale that you get in this game. I'm pretty sure you on the game get game. it when you do the. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. The uh, the fucking where you go in and Jeez. auction. Jesus Christ, this fucking see. over here. Maybe you're right, I don't know. I, I didn't do the auction as much in this. Or at least on my past playthrough, anyway. Um, um. <clears throat> yeah, the swift sail. Is that in this one? 
Uh, it appears in the HD remake of The Wind Waker. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's in the Wii U version. So it is an upgrade well. to the original sale, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't because I don't ever recall there being something like that in the GameCube versions. So I think it's only in the the Wii U one. That would have been nice, but this was before they got feedback from the game. See, yeah. if this game was if this game were released now, they could have patched that in. But yeah, it would have been at the auction house. Begins at 100 rupees, allows the ship to go faster and move in any direction without the wind. Yeah, that'd be nice. But nope, they don't have it in this one. Oh great, I gotta go straight at the cyclone. Awesome, dude. Ah, apparently it could not go faster in the GameCube one because the game could not load quickly enough to keep up with it. But the Wii U advanced power makes it possible. Oh, I guess that makes sense. God damn it! <laughs> you foolish mortal, I will suck right. you. I mean, wait, no. <laughs> and then wait. Wii? No, I meant what I said. <laughs> Please show up. Yeah, the game knows I can't do shit against him. You fucking. <laughs> oh, fucking. You where am I at? Oh, I'm at Renfall. I guess I'm not that far out of where I just was, but... God, why? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not that far away. They do enough, like, little things, I guess, in this game that kind of, like, make the sailing more interesting, but yeah, it's, like, pretty, uh... Like right now, I don't even have to. I don't have to hit anything. You sit here. I will we'll have a little drink. You know. Gonna have me a sports drink. We're gonna talk about sports. Billy, let's let's get this last pearl put in, and we can uh, wrap her up. Are there any like closing words that you would like to present to our audience? <clears throat> Give me your pants. <laughs> Give, me Give me your, your other, other pants. pants. Give me your other pants. <laughs> Does he even still make videos? Like, I haven't watched yeah, him yeah, in a long time. he makes videos. It's just uh, not like that anymore. No. They're still, you know, like him doing funny stuff with games and stuff, but he's also doing, like, this is this game and uh. Uh, you should play it because it's funny and look you can do this what uh I should go on this fucking fairy island because I got the bombs now you got the bombs drop the bombs on me why the fuck is it all Copy. fucking rainy again it was a fucking rainy cause you were near a tornado it's a cyclone Billy there's a fucking difference okay get your head on your ass Jesus Christ Shut the fuck up, <laughs> You're out of your element. They, uh... They, I think they tried to do kind of a similar thing as this in Skyward Sword, but I never played that game. Instead of instead of the ocean, though, you're in the sky. Uh, you get on, like, a giant bird and yeah. you fly around. Yeah, I've seen Danny in the air and play that. And, like this guy. Barry made a... <laughs> Barry made a video about it actually, okay. saying that like flying around in that game is boring as shit. Yeah, and he's like, "Here's what you could do just visually to make it more fun." But they did. But they didn't. And they went. And I wonder if Nintendo thinks that they can just like like kind of be a little like lazy with Zelda because they know people are just gonna buy it anyway. Probably they probably are overall somewhat lazy. You know. I know, I, I know we talk a lot of shit about it, but it, it, it's purely just because it, it comes from a place where I just think that it's overrated over time. Yeah. Like, it came to a point where Zelda, like, did kind of innovate, like, adventure gaming and stuff like that. Well, gaming as a whole. And yeah. then And then they just kind of got complacent and kind of just did the same thing every time. 
Like, I kind of think of that. That's basically Nintendo in a nutshell for me now. Oh, yeah. Is that they rested on their laurels, but their laurels didn't Change. update with the times. Yeah, so like they just kind of kept doing the same thing that they've always done. Yeah, I mean, sure, they're making it prettier. They're, they're making it seem bigger and better, but overall, I'm not... I'm not really interested in anything that they're putting out. No. The only game that I... like, And I'm not even like super crazy excited because I think it's just been so long that I just kind of grew apathetic and I don't really give a shit anymore. But like, um, is the new Metroid game coming out? Like, I'd be interested to check it out. Like, but I'm not going to buy a Switch to fucking play it. See, I've never liked Metroid that much. No, I know. To, uh... To even have it on my radar, because I totally forgot that they were even doing that. I the same thing with too. now, anything Mario related. Yep, I don't care anymore. Anything Le- Legend of Zelda related. I don't care anymore. Pretty much already, anything Nintendo related, they, I don't care. They already announced Breath of the Wild 2, and it looks like the fucking same thing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure it will be. It has him like jumping and falling from the sky and shit. And that's what fucking Skyward Sword had. It was the same thing. Yeah. I just they're so fucking uninspired and just done. Like Metroid Dread, I don't even. It's not even being developed by Nintendo. Like it's just being published by them. I think. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just noticed that all the statues are supposed to look like the people that gave us the shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Long cutscene where the fucking thing because I'm out comes out of the water. And it's like booga booga booga. Boogity boogity. Yeah. <laughs> Just nuclear bomb. The thing is that uh, like this is a good game. Anything past this one I really didn't care that much about. I didn't either. No, this one I, I really liked. Um, this was like one of the first Zelda games I ever played, actually. Those tunes. I think I do think that's part of it too. Is like these games came out when we were at an age where, like, we cared more about stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it is true that Zelda or Nintendo rather is just kind of like always kept the same thing going every time. Like they mm-hmm. haven't really change the way in which they develop games all that much it feels like yeah no they're they're pretty old old in the past kind of stuff well in an and in a way that's good like you know they do their thing but i guess the problem is just that like while they they attempt and try very hard to um appeal to everybody there's certainly like a core audience of people that just I think it kind of gets lost out on a little bit. Yeah. Also, very convenient that he got shot into the middle. Yeah, right. Of the uh, the place. Didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see it. He just ricochets off of it and just falls lifelessly into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> just blood splattered. Just yeah. All the way down. Yep. The blood, the blood gets washed away from the uh, fucking sea. That's going to be the fucking problem. No, for me, is like, if I want to play Metroid Dread, who am I going to borrow a Switch from now? Because no, f- none of us want. I'm going to have to find. I'm going to have to find John. Uh, no, I'm going to have to find a friend in Canada that just has one. John Small. That's the only person. He who... would not let me borrow his. No, Switch. no, obviously not. <laughs> but I'm saying John Small is the only one who probably would get it. No, I would buy Maybe my own Dennis copy. Maybe will at I'd, some point. No, I'd buy my own copy. I just need to borrow a Switch to play it. Yeah, I'm at the Switch. I don't yeah. know if John's into Metroid. He probably is. He probably... If it's Nintendo, he'll buy it. Well, right. next time on Shinstripe Chance, we play Metroid Dread. We don't. I'm... Here's our P.O. Box. Send us a Switch in the game when it comes out. Thank you. I don't Bye. even know what a P.O. Box stands for. <laughs>